time I, I do a PLT haul, I say, I haven't done a PLT haul in ages. And in reality, it's been like two weeks. This time, I genuinely don't think I've done a PLT haul in ages. Sorry, just adjusted the camera. And I know it's been ages because PLT actually sent me some stuff at the start of October. And that's how busy I've been. That it's now November the 21st. And I'm only just getting around to filming this video because I've been way too busy. It's been my birthday. I've been moving house. It's been wild. But here, here we are, ready to film a PLT haul. So, I've got a couple of, well, a couple, quite a bit to get through, so I'm gonna get cracking. I'm gonna start with, do you know, it's been so long, I've had all this stuff, you've probably seen all this stuff on my Instagram anyway, because I've been posting in it all, I've been sharing it all, I've been, you know, not being able to help myself, but share it all. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is these boots. Wowzer, I know, crazy right? These are like thigh high stiletto pointy boots, insane, incredible. These are part of the premium collection on PLT. Also, thank you to PLT for sending all these items. Completely forgot to say, I love you so much. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, they've got a premium collection online and it is unreal. Got quite a lot from the premium collection, I'm not gonna lie. And the quality is mwah, chef's kiss. Absolutely fantastic. Um, so I picked up these boots. They're literally thigh high as well, by the way. Um, I did upload a reel in these and they are stunning, especially at night when there's just like light sparkling on them. They're literally just beautiful. I know they're very out there. They're very, um, you know, in your face, but it's 2021, you know, it's what we love. Um, another pair of boots I picked up are actually these little like Santa boots. When I put these on, my sister was like, you actually look like Santa. Um, but I'm obsessed with them. I've literally worn these to death already. Um, they're just like, a pair of black chunky boots and then they've got the little faux fur rim. The reason I love these is because all my black boots are just plain or I've got like lace up ones, you know. I've never seen boots with like a faux fur line like that. Um, especially like black chunky boots. So I love these when I saw them. I was like, yes please, I would love those. To pick these ones up. I got both boots in a size 4 by the way. These are a little bit big um, but I'd rather my boots are too big than too small because I can just put some fat socks on and be comfortable, good to go. Um, but how cute are they? Lovely. Also I really hate what I look like today so I'm trying to get through this video as fast as I can because I don't want you guys to see me looking like this. I just, I'm really not. It's weird how I can do my makeup the same every single day and then some days I really like it and some days I'm just like I'm absolutely hideously ugly and I hate myself. Today is one of those days. Next I got these brown trousers which I absolutely love. I'm really loving like really casual outfits but making them more dressy with a pair of trousers. So like, I'd wear this plain white top, put these trousers on and then I look like quite put together, do you know what I mean? But at the same time I'm literally just wearing a pair of trousers and the top. Um, and then you can also really dress these up with a nice corset, a bralette, a blazer. Pretty sure they actually have the matching blazer. So these are the dusty brown woven high waist cigarette trousers. I got these in a six. Um, I was going to get them in a four, but I actually want them to be like quite baggy around my thighs. And I know that my thighs are pretty chunky monkeys. Um, so I thought a six would probably fit way better. Absolutely stunning. I've got like this really nice like brown um, like vest sort of style top. Oh, look how ugly I look. Um, I've got this like brown vest. And I thought these would look really nice with actually like a really casual, chill, cute outfit. Shopping, dinner, lunch, brunch date nights, even wear these to work. If you work in an office, you can wear those to work. Sticking with the brown theme, I picked up this shirt in a size eight. So it's like a denim style shirt, but it's sort of like coated. So you know when you get like a denim shirt, which you know I'm talking about, remember those old like denim shirts? It looks like one of those, but it's like coated in brown. Like it's not leather, it's not faux leather, it's not PU, it's just like coated. How many times do I want to say that? Um, I really like this. And they did have matching like jeans, like trousers on there. So I might actually go back on and pick these up because it's very cute. Chocolate brown is obviously going to be back in this autumn winter. We all know it. We love it. Um, and this is just like a proper staple, I think, for a really casual outfit. Like say I've got grey joggers on, this white top. This could look really cute, just sort of like thrown over. Even with those brown trousers, you could wear it with leggings. You could wear it with like a, le like a legging gym set. You know, those really nice ribbed ones from PLT. Um, on a night out, if you need a little jacket over your shoulders, obviously you can get the matching trousers. I just thought this 
was super stunned. I really enjoy it. Next, I've got this, which was my birthday skirt, which you guys have definitely all seen on my Instagram already because I couldn't not wear this for my birthday. Like, I, I didn't even plan to get this for my birthday. Um, and then PLT obviously sent me this stuff such a long time ago. Um, I could not find a nice birthday outfit anywhere. Like, I was just struggling. I just, like, could not make up my mind. And then I was like, am I all right? I've got the perfect skirt in the box from PLT. Um, unfortunately, this sold out really quickly. Um, this did go viral and well, I say viral, it got like 300k views on TikTok and it just literally sold out. Um, hopefully they'll restock it. It is from the premium range again, so it is a little bit pricey, but look at the stunningness. Reminds me of Straightly Come Dancing, Dancing on Ice, you know, cute little vibes. I absolutely loved wearing this, honestly. I got so many questions on it. Everybody's going wild for like New Year's Eve outfits, Christmas outfits, um... But it's just like a nude lining, can you see? And then it's got the little shimmers on it. They do have it in a dress. I'm not sure if the dress is sold out there, but it's like a bandeau dress. Um, and they also have the dress and the skirt in black as well. But I know that this one definitely did sell out. So fingers crossed it comes back in for you guys because I know how many people are desperate to get it. I literally had about, I'm not going to exaggerate, like 60 people like, you sell the skirt, you sell the skirt, you sell the skirt, I'll buy it off you, I'll buy it off you. And I was like, I don't want to sell it, I love it. Like, it's so, it's so certain. Um, hopefully I'll have another chance to wear this because I don't want to just wear it once, do you know what I mean? Like, I don't want it to just be my birthday skirt, I want to have another occasion to wear it. But yeah, absolutely obsessed. Next, I picked up this red set, which I absolutely love. So since I've had like dark hair, I've really enjoyed wearing red. Um, you will have seen this on my Instagram because I did actually wear this <laughs> for my Halloween pictures. Um, that's how long I've had all this stuff, just sat waiting for this haul. I'm so sorry it's taken me so long to get this out for you guys. Um... But it's like a red knitted, is it knitted? Yeah, I think it is. Um, and then can you see it's got like the little boobies. Unfortunately, my boobs are really like high because they're so small. So my boobs actually don't like go where the boobs are supposed to go. Like my boobs are like up here. But I guess if you've got like a little bit of a bigger boob and it goes a little bit lower, that would look very cute. And then it came with some matching red leggings, which I just thought was so cute, especially in time for Christmas. So obviously I wore this in my Halloween outfit because I was a devil. But for Christmas, a nice little red festive set. How cute, especially just like lounging around the house. So comfy, look how stretchy that is. Whoa, look how fast that is, really. <laughs> that has got stretch. Um, I love this, and I actually only wore it for the Halloween pick. I need to actually get wearing it again because it's so stunning. Quality is insane. If you guys aren't onto pretty little things like ribbed leggings, you need to get onto them. These are obviously even better quality because they're knitted as well. But I would definitely recommend PLT's like knitted, ribbed, legging, gym sort of sets because they are all absolutely unreal. Never ever disappoint. I then picked up this coat, which if you've watched my moving vlog, no, my house tour, you will have seen this. I've got a lot of questions on this as well. Um, it's just a brown camel, like maxi belted trench. Um, but it's in this sort of like, I don't even know how you explain this. Because it's not like a fur, it's not like a... Um, suede, it's not, I don't know, I've taken the label off because I've worn it, but I wish I could tell you what it feels like, but it's so nice, it's not too, like, warm, it's a very heavy coat, so, like, you can tell the quality is insane, I did get it in size 4 because it's quite big, um, it's got some cute pockets, nice tie belt around the waist, collars, oh, it's so stunning, absolutely love it, um, but yeah, I wish I could explain the material to you because I really just, I can't. I love that it's also got really simple black buttons. A lot of my stuff has like tortoise shell or like, um, you know, like those brownie black sort of five buttons. Um, so just, just have some plain black buttons. I feel like that's really nice. Simple coat, perfect for autumn, winter. Lovely colour, especially with my new dark hair. Um, yeah, lovely. I then picked up a leather jacket because do you know what, guys? I don't own a leather jacket. Well, that's a lie. I have a lot of leather jackets, but no, just black plain leather jackets, I've got a white one from BLT, I've got like, you know, like leather blazers, I've got bits and bobs like that, but I don't actually have just like a pure black leather jacket, so I did pick one up, I got this in a size 6, and it's a black faux leather drop shoulder belted biker jacket, have been wearing this, again, can't lie, um, it does have this belt which has actually come off, um, but this is so nice, look at this, it's so creased, I've just had it in the box waiting, the leather on this is so soft, like, I'm sure you can actually see like the shine, it's flexible, it's bendy, there's nothing worse than like a jacket where you can't like move and I feel like you get that with a lot with like leather blazers and leather jackets. 
you can't really move in them. But this is the perfect leather jacket for me. It's not too long. The thing I get worried about with leather jackets is that I'm going to look really, like, bikerish. You know, like, masculine, like, big, bulky leather jackets. I'm not here for that, especially the ones that have got, like, the silver just all over them, like, zips all over the place. This has literally got a zip on the sleeve and the belt. And it's absolutely perfect. And we've run out of memory again. Sorry, as I was saying. Um, yeah, it's such a soft material. My white leather jacket from PLT is insane as well. Um, basically, on PLT, I don't know if you've noticed, um, there's like a little thing, it's like Molly Mae's picks. So it's not like her collection or what she's designed or like, you know, her edits and stuff. It's just stuff that she likes from PLT and this was one of them. And everything she likes from PLT, can I just say, is always top notch. So yeah, that's why I went with this one because there was loads on there that I... I was like debating, like, oh, do I get that one, do I get that one? And then this was the Molly Mae pick one, so. I went for that. I've flown through this all, haven't I? I picked up this little set. Um, can't lie, Joanne, I'm not sure about this. I don't think it suits me very well. It's just, I don't really know why I got it. I'm not going to lie. I thought it would be, like, a nice autumn winter outfit with that big trench coat, but I'm not really, like, a shirt kind of gal. So it's just, like, this sort of, like, button shirt. Can you see? But it's like cotton ribbed. So you sort of wear it like that. And then the trousers are the same. They've got like an elasticated waistband. And then they sort of come out. But the thing is, they're not like completely wide leg. They're quite like tight, if you know what I mean. So it kind of bulges around my nunny area. And it just doesn't look too sweet. I mean, maybe I should have got bigger size. Um, but the actual set, the quality and everything is so nice. And I can see where I was going. Do you know what I mean? Like I know what I had visioned in my head, but maybe I just don't suit it. Maybe someone with really long, beachy ways, you know, like a really cute petite girl with a nice little beanie hat. She would probably look stunning in it, but unfortunately, I look like Lord Farquhar and I don't suit this. Um, but it is very nice and the quality is insane. And do you know what, I will probably wear it. I know I will wear it, you know me. Um, but it's just a cute little white ribbed set essentials for autumn winter so easy to style so easy to wear leather jacket blazer coat anything i've got in, in this haul the black boots with the fur and obviously you can pair these with different things maybe that's what i need to do maybe i need a different top maybe i need some different bombs just play around with it and see what i can do to style it but maybe i was just having a crap day that day like i am today doubting everything thinking i'm an ugly piece of toe but yeah it's very nice but yeah that's everything i picked up from plt this round what that's everything that I picked up from PLT this time round, guys. Thank you so much to PLT for sending over the items. You guys know I love you. You guys are the best. Um, hopefully there's some more PLT hauls to come in. I say hopefully, obviously, there's going to be a PLT haul coming probably in about three weeks' time. Can I cheat and do a PLT haul on one of my vlog mistakes? Yes, absolutely. I will probably have another vlog. I'll probably have another PLT haul up before Christmas, let's be honest. Um, but, yeah, I love you guys so much. I hope you're enjoying, like, the new sort of content, like, in the house, all of the moving vlogs. Um... And like all the different setups and stuff, I'm feeling way more better with filming here. Like I'm feeling a lot more inspired. I've got space, I've got time, I've got freedom to film whenever I want. I'm really enjoying it. And it's making me love YouTube again. So yeah, thank you so much for all the support recently. I love you guys so much. You've literally been smashing it and it's made me feel so much better. So yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you very soon for another video. Ciao! I thought that I was dreaming when you said you loved me.